Good morning everybody. It's Sunday morning. I thought I'd just come and say hello to you all before we 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 go and watch Freddie Starr, the brilliant Freddie Starr on Ustream. I feel so sad uh, for Freddie. I do. Freddie was a genius, an absolute genius, as you'll see if you watch Live and Dangerous on Ustream later on today. Um, I think Operation New Tree killed Freddie off, really. All those allegations, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't stand it. I mean, the police said there's no further action to be taken against him, but he just couldn't bear the fact that some people might have thought he was guilty. He should have just left it at that. I think it was the, the accusation of underage, um, you know, sexual assault that, that really, really got to him. It, uh, I never had any accusations of underage stuff, but it still got to me terribly. But I'm a different animal to Fred. Fred, you know, lives on his nerves. And I've got, I've got to say uh, something to the people who commented on my YouTube piece the other day when I said how much I liked uh, Kevin Spacey as an, an actor. And I think that the cancel culture, the Me Too culture, got him as well. And someone said, hang on a minute. He's, uh, he's been arrested for having uh, underage sex or sex with a minor. Well, actually, I've looked that up this morning. It's not quite true. Let me have a little look. He's only had one been arrested for once or, uh, or has been charged. Uh, and that was against a guy in, uh, I don't know, who was an 18-year-old guy uh, in Massachusetts in 2019. Uh, and it was dismissed by the prosecutors. So he's not guilty of that. And the guy that's accused him of... Uh, sexual assault when he was an underage minor is that geezer that's in <clears throat> that's in Star Trek you know the horrible Star Trek the wokey uh, Star Trek and I think his name's David Rapp or something like that I don't know what his name is but he was young at the time and now they're going to court next week and uh, you can bet your ass those charges are going to be dropped so you know let's let's not start condemning people Let's let the judges and the police do it. If you don't like Kevin Spacey, you don't need to make up things. You know, we can allegedly be accused of anything. Remember that, everybody. You're lucky you haven't been allegedly accused of, of something yourself. Anyway, I think he's a brilliant actress. I also think that if he's guilty of sexually assaulting a minor, he should be banged up. And that's the end of that. But in the meantime, why should Hollywood be the judge and jury of everything? Okay, maybe if he'd have just slapped him, he'd have got away with it or just banned from going to the theatre for 10 years. Let's just have a look at also what's happening today. There's now the owl and the pussycat. They didn't go to uh, sea in a beautiful pea green boat anymore. The owl and the pussycat are now not a pussycat. It is a kitty cat. Okay, so the owl went to sea with a tin of cat food, okay? You can't say, pussy, oh pussy, oh wonderful pussy, because they say it conjures up sexual connotations in children. Well, they wouldn't know anything about that. Children are not children anymore, aren't they? Because they're taught how to be diverse and God knows what from the age of six months old. They have to go to diversity training and learn how to be a woman if you want one. And what is happening with Rishi Sunak? I betcha he's gonna say, bollocks to you lot, I'm off, get on with it, okay? Boris is over in Ukraine. He's probably back now. That's why the pictures are out. But well done him meeting that bloke. I mean, I, do you know, I don't wish to be um, rude to the opposition. You know, here's that geezer. Here's a picture of him here. He was... Uh, Spacey was 26 at the time of this. And a man called Rap. There he is. He was in, yeah, he was in Star Trek and, uh, and whatever. Anthony Rap. Are uh, absolutely false as his lawyers asked the judge to drop the case. You bet your ass it will be dropped. I can't wait to see how the cards come back. Should that all go away? Anyway, anyway, anyway. The owl and the pussycat, that's all sorted. Rishi and his wife, I, I bet he does, I bet he does fuck off. Because it's this jealousy. If it's not the, the, the front bench of the other lot having a go, it's the Daily Mail saying, how dare he have 300 pound sneakers on? <clears throat> the world has gone totally mad. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's enjoy our Sundays together, and uh, and I'm going to sit down and really, really enjoy Freddie Star. You watch the complaints come in because of a certain bit I've left in. Well, that's what Ustream's all about. You don't have to watch it, okay? And no one sets out to offend. You set out to make people laugh their heads off. Unfortunately, 
some people set out to be offended themselves. Okay, happy Easter. Well, I'll see you before then. I'll speak to you before then. Don't forget, I'm playing Babacom on the 16th. So next Saturday, I'll be in Babacom doing a show there. It's great. It's only a little theatre. It's only about six, 700 seater. So we can have a real good, intimate whole laugh. I'll see you there. Don't forget, Freddy, you stream, www.astreamy.com. Bus, is that a scissors of facts coming through? Thomas Evans, you mean to tell me you made love to a ghost? Ghost, man, I thought you said goat. At three o'clock in the morning, prowling round into bins, through hedges, and you hear, don't you? You, you know, you're in bed at three o'clock in the morning, and you hear. You go, oh, there's a baby being killed! <laughs> fucking hell! Phone the police! Hello, police! There's a baby being killed outside me fucking door! <laughs> and it's just two cats shagging! <laughs> Don't worry, she paid twice for the seat. <laughs> just lift your leg like that. Oh. Right? Have you got a ginger minge? <laughs>